Hey girls, it's AP here. Um, as most of you know, I have a very large storage. So this is going to be my June slash July 2016 period storage and it is July 23rd. So um, you guys should definitely go insert my giveaway, but um, this is kind of a brief overview of everything. And um, in case you're wondering, I did get a tripod, not only for videos, but as in my whole set for photography and other things so I'm trying to get used to that but um, with that being said um, let's go and get started and there are going to be several different um, parts to this because um, I'm only trying to upload like 10 minutes at a time and it's gonna be in standard definition rather than high definition because it takes too long in um, high definition now so, um, this is my first container. I do have a lot, and I figured I can go ahead and show you guys what what each product looks like because um, that has actually been requested a few times. So, up here, um, I kind of just have, back in that blue box back there, I just have some wrappers, and here I have almost one of every tampon I own opened, and then I have some unused applicators and so applicators out of the wrappers for absorbency test and here um i just have some of the always i forget i want to say like the always radiance but i'm not sure these are like the extra long and then i have some regulars i have an old ubi codex light days and then i have the ubi codex light days um the regular ones of those in my target sign store drawer and again, those are just some grab and go kits. First, onto my liner store. This is a brief overview. This is hard to do with a tripod, but um, you get the vast majority of the idea. All of these, these are the Uvi Codex Bailey Veil Liners. Um, very good. And next, all of these are the Uvi Codex Curve Liners. I have some old and current packaging, and these are the tween liners, which look exactly the same. And then right here, um, these are the old packaging of the Red Codex Light Days Long Liners. I love these for the last day. Then all of these are the Always Radiant Liners, and I actually just got more in my haul, but I'll probably be selling those. Um, this is what they look like. Um, these are the Always Daily Actives, so I think these are scented. And don't mind many as I took off my acrylics and I haven't had time to paint them. And then all of these, these are the Always Dailies. These are the inactive, but pretty much the same thing. I'm not too fond of these, but they're not my worst liners. And then these are the always, and these are tan packs, just kind of a mix. And then right here, these are the always daily shears, which I absolutely do not like whatsoever. So thin, not really much of a liner. And then these are the CVS liners, which are compared to the always liners. And then all of these right here are my Tampax Pearl liners, which I got these off of Macari, and I don't think they make them anymore, but they are pretty much always dailies. And then in this drawer, um, all of these are the Plate Export liners, which are very similar to the Carefree Body Shape Active Fresh Regular to Go, which are all of these liners. Very cheap liner, but very good. Great tampon backup. These are the Carefree Body Shape Active Fresh Thin to Go. They're just a thin version of those liners. And then back here, I have a variety of K-Free liners. Um, these are the long to go. Not my favorite. Um, these are the original to go. I do not like these. All of these are the extra long to go. Super long, but I do like these. And back here, these, um, I don't want to take my drawer out anymore, but these are just the um, CVS brand, which I'll probably give away because I don't like them. But I do have some empty space. And then down here is my Always Orphan drawer. 
Um, here is a brief overview. Um, these are the always radiant pad regular. I do like these, and the old packaging is back there. All of these um, are the always Infinity Totally Teen. This is the current packaging, and that's the old. I've um, both packaging open, but I'm kind of liking the current packaging better. All of these, um, I have a few old, but more so current packaging. These are the Always Infinity regulars. Great pads for activities. Um, back there I have some Always Scented, which are the exact same as these. I think these are the old, um, Always Ultra Thin Overnights, but um, all of these are here are just the Always Ultra Thin regulars. And then I have a full bag, and all of these right here are still my Always Ultra Thin Slenders. And um, back there, which, back there, um, those are just more of the Always um, Infinities. And then in here, here is a brief overview. Alright, so um, all of these colored ones, these are the Eubacodex Totally Teen Pads. Some people don't like them. I do if I'm just lounging around the house, but I do not recommend them for um, like activities and things like that. These are Eubacodex Natural Balance and um, the Security Regulars. Some of, some of them are wingless. Some of them have wings. There's just a variety here. And then all of these are the security long with wings. Pretty long. And then all of these right here. These are my U by Cortex Heavy Day. This is current packaging. I do not know if they changed these because they did change the U by Cortex regular pads. And then all of these are the U by Cortex um, regulars. Cleaning wear regulars, I guess. This is my Ultra Thin Overnight drawer. Here is a brief overview. These are the by Codex All Nighters or Ultra Thin Overnights. Some people do not like these because they think they're too big. I can wear them overnight, but again, it's your body and you can decide. And these, I am yet to try one of these, but I don't think I'll really like them. Um, these are the Security Ultra Thin Overnights. They're really big, but I guess I can do a comparison between these two. Sorry if my Fitbit turns on. Um, all of these are the Always Ultra Thin Overnights. These are definitely one of my favorite Ultra Thin Overnights. They are pretty good. But sorry if it's not like very clear because again I am doing it in standard definition rather than high definition. So um, all of these orange ones, that's the old and this is the current packaging of the Always and Pretty Overnights. If you like the Always... Um, the totally teen ones or the infinity regulars you will like these because obviously they're overnight and then these are the always infinity extra heavy overnight some people think they are too long or too big i haven't really worn much of these because i don't really have a heavy flow at night but um i do like them they are comfortable and then these are the always ultra thin overnights um, extra heavy overnight, I guess, and again, they are long and pretty big in the back, kind of about my hand size, but um, if you have a heavier flow, they work. And then over here, these are the Always Infinity Radiant Overnights, which I thought I had one open somewhere. And this is what they look like, and they are scented, but honestly to me, going to bed with scented pads, unless I'm at a friend's house, um, it's not really a huge deal, but I do like them. Oh, and in case you were wondering, um, these curves, long liners, I think I counted a while ago, but it's been, I used some of them, but they were, um, to count, like, 
I think it was each hundred. So right there is over like almost close to a year's worth of supply. I'm trying to raise this up. It's hard to do sometimes. But um, yeah, I think it's like a a year, almost a year's worth of supplies. And now we will move on to that one and the box right there. So on to the next part, part two. Thanks, girls.